Thank you, 843. A local entrepreneur has won first place in the 2018 Hogan American Savings Bank Nonprofit Business Plan Competition. Joining us, Robin Kumabe, the executive director of the nonprofit Touch a Heart, and John Webster, who directs the Hogan program at Chaminade University. First of all, what does your nonprofit do? Our nonprofit actually trains men and women in the food service industry. They are actually interns of our program. And we also have a social enterprise that we train them on so that they have on-the-job training. So we have a couple of enterprises that we work together. This is an interesting analog to the old feed a fish versus teach exactly. a man to fish thing. That's the exact one we and, use. And especially in our local economy where so many food service jobs exist. Very much so. Yeah, 14% of them are there. So uh, we have them ready for jobs. Um, we've got partners that are ready to take them as soon as they finish our 12-week program. And so it's very exciting for us to be a part of this show. That's pretty cool, especially at a time of 2% unemployment when it's hard to find people in yes, restaurants. Yes. Um, this program has been around for years and years, and we're talking about something that is both a competition and sort of a schooling thing too, yeah? Yeah, our, we started 17 years ago, funded by the Hogan Family Foundation, the people that started Pleasant Holiday Travel. And about almost 17 years ago, we looked around. It's an entrepreneurial program. We train our juniors, singers, and grad students to start new things, plain and simple. That's what it's about. They're typically in the program two years. They interact with up to 60 different mentors and, and uh, people teaching them the skills, the tools necessary to do that. But we looked at that time yes. and said what you said just a minute ago about this economy and said, you know, the nonprofit sector really needs to be represented in this entrepreneurial sphere by its own business plan competition. And you know, we couldn't find any other nonprofit competition at that time other than Yale. Yeah. And the winners the first time around was Mile Farms. They went on to Yale and competed after that, having won in our Hogan American Savings Bank competition. So we've been doing it that long. Uh, this year we had 52 different nonprofits mm -hmm. submit uh, plans. Uh, we've now, counting this year, uh, thanks to American Savings Bank, spent more than $250,000 all going to the nonprofits. You know, people who work for for-profit companies tell me that nonprofits are much harder to make a go of yes. because a private company just has to meet a financial target. Mm -hmm. You have to meet a financial target and you have a social mission. Exactly. I think that's the whole thing was uh, our, our program and our business plan was all about sustainability and that's not only for the students and the interns that come through our program so that they can be sustainable once they get out and have a job but also because we um, have to have our own sustainability to keep our program going. So that's why it was wonderful to win this prize. Thank you so much for Hogan and American Savings Bank because these products um, are all about uh, the local food Local foods, I mean, our program is uh, based off of Ho'o Ulu Aina, it's the name of it. So it's really about the land. And so all, our products all have either Ulu, Ulu in them, or Taro, or even Keawe pod flower. So it's so. a worthy nonprofit and a worthy program. And especially now when nonprofits are doing so much to help people on Kauai and on the Big Island. It's uh, now 8.47 and we'll have more sunrise for you in a moment.